All right, it's semifinals time. Here from Berlin, it's Johnny and Toffer. Hello. And we're watching Felix on the left side against Justus on the right. And this is also somewhat um, a known thing, right? Two mid-range decks, mm. two... Like, you can say the Selesnya deck is kind of more aggressive and Jessica has more mid-range, but they somehow merge a bit into each other, right? Oh, it's not a uh, it's not a Jessica deck. It's more like a four-color uh, tempo list, I would say, or like, let's say good stuff, like four-color good stuff on mm. this side. It's not Jessica. Uh, he plays everything except for green, and so he has he has a really low curve. Like he's, he plays all the cheap stuff, like mental note and thought scour, spell pierce, fire eyes. Like, oh, so this is like an aggro matchup. Yeah, you could say that. I mean, you see his hand, like, right? There are cards like Baleful Strix, which are not pretty, like, not really aggro cards, but at the same time, Mantis Rider and Geist of Sandra. So he gets, I think the game gets dictated by his starting hands, how that develop, and of course the matchup itself. And he can play the tempo deck, the tempo aggro control uh, approach, or he can just play control, controlish, because he had, has a lot of value cards like Tazigur and, yeah, Baleful Strix and. Baby Jays and stuff like that. So it's a really interesting and yeah, really cool list. I think that's naturally a thing that comes out of Highlander, I think, over the time. Because why not just add all the good spells and good cards in one deck, right? And play them. <laughs> so some, something like Four Color Blood, which is not the exact same thing because it's an aggro deck and doesn't play blue. But I think that's the opposite side, right? It, it's choosing... <clears throat> Mana acceleration against mm -hmm. interaction spells. Interaction, interaction, and tempo spells. Yeah, like things like spell pierce or memory lapse or stuff like that. But of course, um, Justus deck is way slower because it's had, uh, it has so many cantrips and counter spells. So, so you're basically yeah. choosing um, a bit consistency over mm -hmm. speed, right? Yeah, I would say that. Yeah, although I would say that four color blood is an exception what consistency in terms of consistency because it's so good the quality of the cards are so good you can't really fizzle with it i, I mean sure you can go mana of school of luck but usually you just do the same thing in every game and just powerful spells chain to another yeah but it's much worse if you don't hit an elf for example yeah on the first turn and i think the blue deck can use it much better because it's naturally built this way right yeah, you could say that. I mean, it's it's more consistent, of course, because of the cantrips, but it Ooh. can fizzle in a way. So Here we see one of the new additions from yeah, the chapter. Yeah, we, we talked about cards from the new set, and we see the Nullhide Ferox, which is a 6-6, six, six, which has hexproof until it matters, <laughs> meaning, <laughs> meaning any, every player, uh, player can pay two mana to remove the hexproof, and um, as long as he has hexproof, you can play non-creature spells uh, as their owner or controller. So you have to pay the two mana if you want to play non-creature spells. Yeah. And yeah, it's just a big dumb thing which has hexproof, uh, which is good do enough you... in a deck with elves. So. so so do you know the flavor text of the card? No, I don't know it. No? There's an additional line. Do you know that? No. The the creature says if it, it's discarded from your opponent, you oh, put it into play. Yeah, that's also really uh, important. And I, I've also seen that happening that it goes, like, okay, I take this. Well, it's in play. Um. Oops, there is another line of text. Yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's ridiculous how, how much text there is. So, and, yeah, I mean, and it doesn't have any flavor text like this. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, that's relevant in Highland. Uh, enough decks play Lily and the Yarn of the Whale and uh, Hymn to Two Work. Well, I, I've so. seen his thoughtsies, so that's. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. And it was like, okay, that's a huge creature you can cast next turn. Better take it away. And wow. it, it wasn't cast next turn. Well, I that only saw that once when someone discovered the Doxodon Smiter. That was really, really <laughs> something. I mean, I saw also in my, over the years, I saw someone discarding a guerrilla tactics. So yeah. that's so a, here we see one of the uh, best creatures in oh, the deck. Oh, yeah. That's so beautiful. Like the script ranger blocking the Mantis Raider. Oh, which creature did you mean? I mean, the, I meant the Mantis Rider, but oh, it was, a, okay. it was <laughs> of course... I thought you meant the script ranger. <laughs> because I'm not joking, this card is insane. How much this card does, it's it's really insane. Like, the, the applications are unlimited, really. And I'm really a huge fan of the card. I played it back in 2010 in my blue-green tempo list, and 
to this day, I think this card is really, really powerful. And yeah, here it is just blocking a Mantis Rider. So thank you. Forever, right? That's Forever. The... I mean, kind of, because uh, if you want to get in. Well, you could still untap it. Yeah, you can untap it, but usually you want uh, your Lanova Elves and such things to untap. Like, for so... example, right now you could play Bone Splitter, equip, attack, and oh. let's see if they attack back. Oh, that's actually, yeah, you don't actually have to untap it. You can just threaten to untap it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Which is but, which is kind of slow, right? If your opponent yeah. deals with it, it's bad. Yeah, especially if you play against red, which can just burn it away. Um, but we see now the Brontodon, which I think is interesting because I would go for the Cursor, I think, just because it makes the ways way easier and also generates card, advantage, card advantage, but... I think, yeah. I think I mean, the idea behind this is the yeah, cursor can, still can plays the land next turn. Yeah, it's true. And it can't attack against the Mantis Rider. The thing is, um, he was tapped out, so that's why I would think I would rather resolve the value creature over the beatdown creature, but sure, that works too. You can now waste uh, pretty good. Yeah, it depends a little how you want to plan your game, right? Yeah, that's if you and say, against, I'd rather be on the defense and gain more life, Cursor seems cool in play. Well, my idea would be that I maybe play the Bone Splitter next turn instead of uh, the Ferox, mm. depending on if my opponent taps out or not. That's why I would but like to have cast, The other thing is that cut, not casting the 6-6 six, six is kind of loose, right? It's a 6-6. Six, six. You mean if, if your opponent has uh, open mana? Uh, yeah, I mean... I mean, well, I don't know. With the Bone Splitter, you have already a lot of... Um, like, if, for instance, if you play the Cursor and equip the Bone Splitter next turn, that's already four damage with four of toughness on a creature. Yeah, but so, you, it, it's it's a little unnecessary because you don't need to build it up. You're, yeah, you're secured anyway. Yeah. And it's not I personally efficient. rather would have my Cursor in play than playing the the no height. but if the no height resolves, it's such a huge tempo shift. Yeah, that's true. I think that's just the control player in me, which always wants to resolve his value cards before <laughs> the beat down. <laughs> yeah, so, there's the Strix, uh, which already is answered by the Brontodon, if you want so. Yeah, you also, what's really good against the Strix? Uh, uh, no. The script. Oh, yeah. Of course. Ah, but it that's dies an untimely death. And that's why the deck is so strong. It's really flexible, has all the good spells. And, yeah, and all of a sudden, something that looked very decent for Felix is turning mm -hmm. into a very grim situation yeah. just by using a simple lightning helix and a Balfour Strix. Yeah, so, which is a huge, like a huge swing in tempo. Yeah, the Mantis Rider is now and, dealing yeah. three damage each turn. Mm -hmm. So let's see how Felix ends it. And he draws a green Sun Zenith. Mm -hmm. Which is an interesting card at this spot. Um, yeah, that could probably get every card in the deck. Uh, that sounds about right. I'm looking through his list right now. And yeah. So Felix knows he wants something for three. What could that be? So there's a... Hmm. For instance, the Crowl Harpuna, which is also a new card from Ravnica. The 3-2 yeah. with reach, was, uh, which fights with a creature. Ooh, I know that what would he's be a, That would yeah. be a nice card at the spot. I to think. deal with Mantis Rider, right? Yes, exactly. Maybe he's getting the knight to kill the... Very yeah, for streaks. Streaks. It but needs to be you, something for three right now. The like, thing is, if you kill the streaks, you just have... Yeah, I mean, you have the Bontodon, which can attack then. But the, after that, you only have a 2-1 body, which... Yeah, yeah but the I, Bontodon can't attack if you don't, don't deal with the streaks. So, yeah, maybe that would be... Yeah, yeah there is kind. another new card from Guilds of Ravnica. Yeah. So, it, it kind of depends, right? If you say, I am still be can be aggressive because of my cursor... Uh, I don't care much if the Mandasaur is going to attack me, although my life total is much lower than my opponent's. Oh, you know which card I would have loved to see? The Steel Leaf Champion. I'm just going through his deck. Uh, that's a 5 4 for 3 mana, which yeah. can be blocked by creatures of power 2 or less. So you, you would have gone even more aggressive? Yeah, because you can't block with the Strix. And you can get rid of the Strix, can rid of, get rid of the Strix any, at any point if you want to. So. Well, I guess if, if the Brontodon attacks, the Strix will just block. Yeah, the thing is, the Knight doesn't do anything to the board because of the Mantis Rider, so... You're basically saying that a 5-4 is better than a 3-4 and a 2-1, Exactly, right? especially a 
a 5-4, which can't be blocked by a lot of creatures in Yusuf's deck, which yeah. Felix doesn't know, but of course he plays all the cheap stuff, right? So now we see a Planeswalker, which is always a good thing, but uh, with one blue mana up, I would feel comfortable playing maybe <laughs> something else. I, I also like the hardcore island backup. Like, not even Hallowed <laughs> Fountain, just island. It's like, yeah. I have not even a sword. I have nothing, basically. Just play whatever. Yeah, that's, uh, that's maybe a little edge you can get if you think <laughs> like that. Yeah, I, it, it's good. Like, yeah, true. People say, like, oh, they didn't think about what they want to have untapped. And then. Mm -hmm. you so. Will see. What would you go for that, uh, in this spot? Yeah, interesting. I think against Mentor... The thing is, the 6-6 six, six doesn't seem that strong against Mentor. No, right? no, no. I think I think you you want to s search your deck for something relevant and play the lands and maybe get, I don't know, a removal spell? I mean, are there many removal spells in the Selesnia deck? Wait a second. Um, don't you attack with the Borontodon? Like, aren't you happy with the trade against the Mentor and the Mentor Sword? Like, you, you choose one creature? Yeah, th you can do that. That's fine. I think that would be a fine attack. Like, the Mentor can get out of hand really quickly. Ooh, but now Felix kind of guesses, ah, maybe he oh. doesn't have any creatures. Yeah, that's interesting. You mean spells? Yeah, yeah, non-creature. Mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. So, maybe there's nothing going on with the Mentor and... Well, that's a bad card if you cannot play any spells. So the Ancient Tomb is uh, its a really nice card in this deck. Like, I think we should see that card more often. Maybe even in my deck, for instance, but I, you rarely see it. But if you think about it, the card is just busted. And uh, how, could... how important are the two damage? I mean, like if you have to tap it for I two think, life... I think in green-white you are okay with the damage, I think. So... Mm, because you also have access to... That much life gain? Life gain. And usually you are the aggressor, right? So you can you can afford the damage. So now we see the cursor. Yeah, cursor and ancient tomb is a nice combo. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's another good. disgusting card against uh, control. Okay, so this is oh, this is close. Mendes Rider is dealing th uh, three each turn. I, I don't and the, I, isn't yeah. wait 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 isn't the guys is attacking for four, right? Yeah, that's seven damage in the air. So is there anything you can do? No. He has to rely now. There's a... Are the life totals correct? Um, I think so, right? Well, there's no reason they shouldn't be. Or is he at eight, maybe? No, no. Sure. All right. Mendes Rider, even so eager <laughs> that he gets to tap <laughs> side to attack. <laughs> maybe he's vigilance. convoking this spell. Oh. No, right. And by the way, I, yeah. I, hmm. Yeah, I think he couldn't... Yeah, he didn't could play anything else. Ah, yeah, interesting game. For sure. Yeah, interesting game. Justus takes it, and we will see if the second game goes as easy as well. 